Good morning. Welcome to Christ Community Church Online. We are so glad that you are tuning in with us this morning as we come together to praise and worship our Heavenly Father. As we settle our hearts and our minds this morning, hear this call to worship. All who thirst, come to the water. Come all who are weary. Come all who yearn for forgiveness. The Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, has washed over us, and our gracious and holy God beckons and blesses us. Drink deeply of these living waters. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Amen. I have just one reminder for you this morning, and that is that our annual general meeting is coming up on Monday, June 15 at 7 p.m. This year it will be online. I sent out a link to get registered this past week, and I will send it out again this week. Please make sure that you get registered, otherwise you won't be able to access the call. In that email was also the phone numbers for how to dial in. You also should have received this week an email from Lindsay that had the PDF of our AGM booklet in it. If you receive paper copies, those will be coming to you as well at your house. Briar, one of our elders, now has an update for you from Council. Good afternoon, Christ Community Church. This is Briar on behalf of Council. We had our meeting on June 1st, and we would like to provide you with things that we have found um, to be worthy to praise God for, items that we would like you to pray for, and upcoming opportunities to look forward to. So let's start with some praise. Our council wants to acknowledge and thank the Coast Salish people for the privilege of living and worshiping on their ancestral lands. You can expect your council to acknowledge the First Nations people prior to all of our future meetings. We are thankful to Murray for keeping our building safe while we are not regularly attending. Thank you, Murray, for all the work that you're doing. We know it's been um, difficult with the building closed and we appreciate you keeping the building clean and safe. We are thankful for the communion service that was held. It was so beautiful to connect live with our church family. I was really excited to see everyone. Um, we are thankful for the evolution of technology. And uh, it was really exciting to see Trudy and Jerry attend for the installation service with Pastor Kelly present at a social distance in the church building um, and then still have our church community meet. It was, it was special and it was definitely unique and one I will not soon forget. Um, we are also very thankful for all of the volunteers that came out to our church to engage in the work bee. Our church building looks so much cleaner. Thank you, it's very much uh, appreciated. We have some prayers that we're going to ask for. Um, we want, would like to request ongoing prayer for the mental health of everyone in our congregation as we continue to face the challenges of COVID. We are praying for the newly formed COVID task force team that will be informing our council on how to meet the spiritual needs of our congregation during this time of social distancing. Um, volunteers that have stepped forward for this team are Colleen Spencer on behalf of the worship team, Ben Shaw with his infection control practitioner experience, um, Trudy Jager on behalf of council, Murray because he's our building caretaker and he will be able to bring a lot of the um, practical sides of things to the table. Um, and Pastor Kelly, because she's our pastor and she's helping direct the, direct the ship. So we are asking you to pray for that team. They are going to be looking at things over the next week. And um, we will have some information to be able to announce to at the AGM with respect to the next stages of what our church worship is going to look like in the, in, in the upcoming months. Upcoming opportunities. AGM, June 15th, 7 p.m. Please register on the Zoom. So going forward, I've been thinking and I've been praying, um, thinking about where we are going with COVID and what to expect and what our society and all the changes in society. And um, there's this vision when you, in, in one of the Psalms, it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And, um, God has promised to give us that lamp and he's lighting our feet and um, he's already gone ahead into the dark. He knows what's happening in the future, but we're just given a lamp to see just the immediate 
you know, the immediate path in front of us. We can't see all the way down. We don't know what the future is going to hold, but he's giving us the tools um, that we need to be able to see where our feet are going to go so we can avoid the rocks and the crevices and the cracks. Um, and so, yeah, I've been really reflecting on that, that God knows what's going to happen. He knows the future and he's giving us the tools, um, providing that we're listening to him to settle in and, and um, make sure we don't stumble. So during this time of ongoing uncertainty, we hope you are well. Please reach out to someone in the church if you are, um, if you have any needs. And we hope to see you all at the AGM. Blessings to all. Thanks, Briar and Council, for all of the hard work that you're doing in this season. Let us come together from wherever we are and be united and are singing the praises of our God.